Hi, my name is John Carruthers. I've been working in the music industry for the last 50 years. I've worked for most of the major manufacturers in design and production. I also have my own company that uh, makes guitars. We do guitar service, repairs and modifications. Um, if you'd like to learn more about working on your own instrument, I have a book that's on Alfred Publishing called Guitar Care and Gear Essentials. Today we're going to show you how to change the pickups in your Fender Jazz Bass. The ones that come from the factory are single coat pickups and unless you have both of them turned up, uh, they tend to be noisy. They uh, attract noise from the outside world. So uh, we have a company that's called Aguilar and they've come up with a nice new pickup that fits in the original hole, but it, it's hum canceling. It has, instead of one single coil, it has two coils that are uh, uh, connected to each other in series and one coil is providing a positive amount of hum and the other one's providing a negative amount of hum and so you end up canceling out the hum. So what we have to do to start with is we have to remove the original pickup so we're going to just unscrew them from the body then we'll take the control plate loose and we'll unsolder the original pickups. Probably do this a little faster with my screw gun. Okay, so I'm going to put these screws in here so we don't lose them. So when we want to put the new ones, when we have them. Okay, so I'm going to take this out and you can see the difference between this and the old one. This has just got one long coil. And normally when these pickups are made, they wind one in one direction and have the magnets so that they're the opposite polarity of this one. And so what happens is whenever noise comes in, if they're both on, you know, equally, then you'll have hum canceling. But as soon as you adjust, so you only have one pickup or a mix of the two that's not even, then you'll get hum. With the new ones, they're hum canceling all the time, so you don't have to worry about that. So these are the original covers. We're just going to take those and the pickups out, and we're going to put the new ones in. So the next step is that we have to take the control plate and unsolder the original pickups. So we have a soldering station here. We clean the tip off on a dampened sponge and we find where the leads are and then we carefully heat them up and remove them. If you take a picture of your cell phone, you can use it as a reference. So if you forget where the leads are supposed to go, you can easily just look at your cell phone and then put them in the right place. Now there's basically two leads from each pickup. One is called the hot lead, which is uh, going to the pot. And then the other one is the ground lead. And that basically is also connected to the back of the pot instead of to the terminals. Okay, so once we remove those leads, then we can actually pull the pickups out of the guitar. So if you're not going to be using these, it's a good idea to leave the covers on because they protect the coil and it's not likely to be damaged. So maybe someone else might be able to use them for something else or you might be able to put them on the web or something and sell them to somebody. So there we go. We'll set these aside. So we removed the old pickup. As you can see, we pulled all the wires out. Now we have the new one to put in. Now on jazz bass, the pickups are actually, there's two different ones. There's a bridge one and a neck one, and they're different lengths. So you want to make sure you got the right one for the right position. Now in here, we have three leads instead of two. Two of them are grounds. One is a ground that's connected to the shield, and the shield is a copper foil that goes along the bottom of the pickup. Then the other two leads are the plus and the minus from the pickup itself. Now we have to feed these leads back through the hole that the original pickup came out of. Sometimes it can be a little frustrating trying to get all that wire to go in the hole. So what we do is we take the ends of the wires and we twist them together. And that makes it so we got much uh, better chance of getting it through the hole. So now we find where the hole location is and we shove the wire into the hole, push it through, and now we can pull it up. And we have to be careful to make sure that the sponge that's under the pickup's in place, and then we can actually put the pickup in the hole, put the screws in, and it'll be ready to uh, hook up. So now you can see how it's spring-loaded from the sponge. So we take the original screws that we used to screw it into the body, and we'll put those back in. Okay, so we got all the screws started. Okay, so we can just take a hand screwdriver and adjust it how we want so that we can set the height uh, once we get the strings on the guitar. Okay, so now we have the neck pickup in place and we're going to put the bridge pickup in place next. 
So we got the ridge pickup here, and you notice it has different colors leads, so you can tell which one's which. This has a yellow lead on it, this has a white lead, that's your hot lead. So we're going to use that same trick again, we're just going to twist the wires together so it goes through the hole easy. We can move this control plate and just let it dangle off the edge here. And we'll see if we can get this through the slot here. There we go. We'll pull these up where we can see them. Okay, now we have to put the sponge in so that we got some height adjustment. Then we'll get the other four screws that we need. We'll put those in the pickup and we'll have the pickups in place. Okay, so again, we can use the hand screwdriver just to do the fine adjustments. We'll probably have to set it once we get the strings on. So now we have the two pickups mounted in the body. So now we can proceed to connect the leads back up to the control plate. So basically what we will do now is we would take the white wire and the yellow wire. Those have to go to the terminals on the pot where the original ones were. And then we solder the two black leads to the backs of the pot so that we have a ground. So we would take our soldering iron, take the yellow lead here and just put it in here. We let that cool off once it's in place. Whoop, I missed the slot there. There we go. Okay, so now that's firmly in place. So then we would take the white lead off the other pickup and do the same thing. So we can get a grip on it here. I want to make sure that the lead doesn't touch anything except what it's supposed to. Okay, so that's in place. So now we have the two hot leads connected. Now all we have to do is take these black leads and connect those to the back of this pot where the original black leads were connected. It's a good idea when you're soldering to sometimes pre-coat the leads with solder. Uh, and then what will happen is these have solder on already and the back of the pot has solder and so then it's easier to connect. The biggest flaw that most people make when they're trying to solder is not to get enough heat into the part to make the solder melt properly and that way they don't get a good connection. It's called a cold joint and it's unreliable. It comes loose after a while and that creates problems. Okay, so uh, when you've got fresh leads, sometimes they don't want to solder. You can take and clean off your tip on the sanding sponge, I mean on the uh, soldering sponge and then you take and uh, apply some solder that's fresh with rosin on it onto the leads that you want to attach. Then you can bring those leads over to the pot, heat it up with the soldering iron until the solder on the pot melts. You'll tell when it gets smooth and shiny and flows out like a liquid. Then we can put the other one in the same way. Okay, so now we've attached all the leads that we need to do. So we basically take this and we put it in here. Then we can put the screws back in and it should be ready to go. Now that we've installed the pickups and got the strings back on the guitar, uh, we need to set the height of them. Normally most manufacturers recommend starting out at about an eighth of an inch from the bottom of the strings. Normally what we do is we fret the string at the last fret and then we take our scale and rest it on the pickup and see how much space there is. So if we check here, looks like we hit this one pretty close. The treble side's maybe just a little bit high, so we'll just lower that down just a little bit. Check it again. I gotta fret it at the last fret. That looks pretty good. Now we'll check out the bridge pickup. That one's right on. This could come down a little bit. Pretty good guesstimation. Looks good, ready to go.